On August 13th, we contacted your office sure. and asked you and a number of other members of the legislature, are you going to support Governor Perry for president? Uh, most of the people we talked to, including uh, a person with whom you are ideological kin, Senator Dan Patrick, on right. many issues, yes, I'm absolutely for Governor Perry for president. Representative Simpson, are you for Governor Perry for president? Quote, I respect Governor Perry as an establishment politician, but our nation needs a principled statesman who tells the truth and does what he says and who will li limit civil government's use of force to its constitutional limits even when he can get away with doing otherwise. You were the rare elected official in Texas who was willing to say, this guy wins, he's president, this guy loses, he's governor, there's no good answer here. But I'm going to oppose him anyway because on principle, I don't think he's the right guy for the job. What did you know that the rest of us didn't know? Well, we just talked about uh, the use of uh, funds in our budget when, in very difficult times. I think the most important qualification for a statesman or a politician is self-control. And uh, the Constitution is, is how we institute that through the people. Yep. And even when you can do what you think is good, or maybe stop something that you think is bad, but that's outside of your jurisdiction, your authority, then I don't think you should do it. I'm a Christian. I'm a Reformed Baptist. I, I believe in, in some very narrow things as far as how our church operates, but for me to impose that by law on others would be wrong. And I couldn't even accomplish it because you have to do those things willingly. And so, how, how does this relate to a critique, though, specifically of Governor Perry? Where, where, where has Governor Perry gone wrong uh, through the Simpson lens that you just described? Well, I think he stood for life. I think that's good. I think he stood against in more government with respect to texting. I think with respect to the budget, I was hoping he would take the higher ground and say, well, maybe these programs, the Emerging Technology Fund, uh, the Enterprise Fund, serve their place in the past. But, and gain the moral high ground and say, but now, since we're going to have to cut, we don't want to raise taxes, I believe, yeah. in the free market, let's move those funds over to community colleges. Let's take care of the aged. We can't turn nursing homes around on a dime. Mm -hmm. I, I would have supported that. I, I fear that we'd have probably had some bigger emerging technology funds, uh, farm subsidies, things of that nature, if he was president. And so in that area, we disagree. We, we agree on guns, we agree on life, we agree on many things and getting government out of our individual lives. But with respect to building the economy, I don't think the government should be really involved. I think we need to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. I think we're poor uh, decision makers when it comes to picking winners and losers. The market is yeah. a much better allocator of resources. Ron Paul, your candidate for president? I'm not making any public endorsements for president. I'm a state representative. You feel like you, your, your point of view on this, given the number of people who respect the positions you take in Texas and might want to follow you down that path, you don't want to offer a little guidance to those people? I, I will support the person that will be uh, most faithful in upholding the right. Constitution, restricting government to its limited role and, and allowing people to be free and responsible. Mitt Romney is the nominee of your party. Will you support uh, I, I'm, I'm going to support the person that will support the Constitution. But, but with all respect, Mr. Simpson, that's not what I asked you. If Mitt Romney, if Mitt Romney is the nominee of your party, will you support him? Yeah, I'm very doubtful. No. If New, no, no. We've, we've upgraded from very doubtful to no within half a sentence. That's a, <laughs> excellent. If Newt Gingrich is the nominee of your party, will you support him? No. Will you be supporting anybody in the fall? Mr. I Simpson? hope so. You hope so. <laughs> Are you hoping for a third party? Uh, no. Boy, this movie's going to end in a way that we don't know it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, 